Well, hey, my name is Farshon Cruz Desern. I'm the 168 pound WBC Super Middleweight Champion of the World. My record is 4 and 1, and I get the job done. For me, I feel like my strengths are I know how to adjust. Um, I love Bruce Lee's mantra of becoming water because water can be very peaceful, but it can also be destructive. And it, you know, no matter what you put in front of it, it's going to find a way to get through. So adjusting is one of my powers in the ring. It's funny because I'm I'm really a boxer. But my husband taught me how to do like more inside game and come forth. And I know, you know, having those extra things in your repertoire will make you more of a complete fighter. And I'm confident in my defense and I know I have a good jab. So when I use it, it works. And if I feel like they try to fat shame me because me and her weighed in about the same amount. You know, I'm just built differently. Yep. But it's all good. That's what's up. Now give us some background about how you got into the sport and mm -hmm. what is the what does boxing mean to you like Talk about it as in, in terms of your life and how you got to this moment, this point. Yeah, well, um, I got into the sport of boxing because I wanted to be a singer, and that's what I do now. I, I, uh, I'm a singer-songwriter, and I was trying to lose weight, and I just went to the gym, and I never left. Someone said you can lose five pounds in one day with boxing, and I was like, how? And I went to the gym and never left. Um, I used to fight in the streets and fight with my brothers and stuff, so I really I already had like the guff in me, but boxing just changed my life. Boxing is life, you know? Um, it taught me more discipline because a lot of boxers have misplaced anger or emotion, and with boxing, I'm able to express myself in a different way, and I don't let like the world things get to me more. I, I feel more calm, you know? But, Very interesting. Yeah. Awesome. Now, uh, you're a champion at 168. Uh, what are your uh, immediate plans? Like, are you looking to unify at 168? Uh, just talk about your, your uh, potential moving forward. Yeah, so my, it's weird. My journey is anti-climatic because I'm the first African-American uh, world champion, female world champion without a promoter, self-managed. So I'm just like a free agent right now. And I would love to flex that and, you know, hopefully get with a promoter that can help me further my career. Um, Showtime is supposed to be doing an all-female card. It's, it got pushed back and tentatively for June. So in between then, if I can get a deal that, I, that I'm comfortable with, I might just, you know, sign or just wait for that fight. But I'm just working on building my brand, working on my craft and, you know, working with my husband. For sure. Now I want to talk about that. Now we saw you today, uh, basically sparring your husband. Um, talk about that dynamic. You don't see that often. And, and what do you, what do the people need to know about that? Like, you know, obviously you guys are getting each other better, but how does that mold into your guys' relationship? Like that's crazy. It's like you know, some people their relationship is built off of sex or you know, materialistic things. Ours is built off of passion and. That's the way that we're able to express each other, express things to each other. And it's not, it's intense. And people might think, oh, you trying to beat her up. Or, oh, she trying. It's nothing like that. It's just, it's a beautiful, it's like us dancing. And we're going to push each other. And I want the best from him. And he wants the best from me. And it's like, if he see me slipping, he's going to keep me honest. Just like I'll keep him honest. Because unfortunately, in this boxing game, you got a lot of people who don't share that passion. And they don't want to see you win. And they don't, they don't give 110%. Me and him are one, like we're business partners, we're life partners, so if he slaps, we all, we both slap him. Um, but that's just the way of us communicating. Awesome, that's crazy. <laughs> now, uh, I want you to touch on the current state of boxing. Who are some of the fighters you uh, enjoy watching and uh, today, right now? First and foremost, I love watching my husband fight because he fights with passion and he's my number one pick. Um, Marlene, I just named her, her, her initials is M-E and I just said mom extraordinaire. Like, it's amazing, I've known her since she was 15 years old and now she's a mom and just, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Um, of course, like the big names like Canelo's and uh, I like Teofimo a lot, you know? and. Uh, I was lucky enough to come up with the class with the last two or three 
uh, amateur class, elite classes. So, you know, like Danny Jacobs and I are very cool. I spar with Earl Spence. Like anybody, Danny Garcia, anybody's anybody, I know them. Sean Porter, all of them. So I just I just like good quality boxing. Awesome. Now, uh, last couple questions. Uh, can you reflect on the fight you had with Clarissa Shields and what sets her apart uh, from the boxers you fought? Um, when it comes to Clarissa, uh, what's amazing, she pushes me. And we've had a lot of amateur fights together. Like, before, for her to get on the Olympic team, she had to go through me, you know? And I just set her at a standard because I'm like, okay, if you beat me, then you need to beat everybody else because I believe I am the best. I believe I am one of the top fighters in the world. And what makes her different, she fights with passion. And, she, you know, she uses the things she went through to motivate her in the ring. And, you know, she gets a lot of flat, but I like her mindset. She believes in herself 100%. And I can't get mad at her for doing that, you know. Uh, I'm just excited. I actually designed her uniform for her April 13th out, uh, boxing. Uh, Against Boxing Hammer? Match. Yeah. So the outfits that she's wearing, I designed and I sold for her. And you obviously feel like she's going to be able to beat Hammer. It's a huge fight. Unification, a legacy fight for her. How do you see that fight playing out? I mean, I have it high expectations for her. You know, we both come out of elite class and she is a two-time Olympic gold medalist. She's a world medalist. I mean, when you come up on the elite amateur scene, you're fighting the best from everybody's country. It's not just like, oh, I'm fighting number five. I pick and choose out the rankings. Like, you're fighting their best. USA versus Germany. USA versus Russia. You know, and she's been able to hold her own. So, I pre I'm pretty sure she's going to be able to adjust and do what she needs to do against Hammer. I've seen some, some flaws in Hammer mentally, and that counts for a lot. Awesome. All right, so, uh, shout out your social media and anything else you want to say? Yes, it's the Heavy Hitting Diva here to make believers. You can catch me on Twitter, Instagram at the HHD Diva. That's T H E H H D I V A. Franchon Cruz is earned the Heavy Hitting Diva on Facebook. And follow my husband, Glenda Zern Jr. Also, thank you.